Welcome back guys to the next video of this playlist and in this video we'll be talking about how to extract portfolio information that is the positions, uh, order list, order list by some particular ID which is order ID, trade book by particular ID and also the fund information that we have right. So let's start with the portfolio. Um, over here in the, on the portfolio, if you click on the portfolio on the left hand side, you'll see this window. Just scroll it, uh, a bit down and you'll see Dhan dot get positions just copy this particular code let's come back to our python code and uh, if we if you paste it over here and run it it will give us the entire positions that we have uh, currently in the market right now so you could see that there are a couple of them in in my case right now similar to that if we want to get the entire order list Right, whatever it is, like it's buy, sell, whatever it is. So just click on the orders on the left hand side. You'll see this window. Uh, we have already seen how to place an order, so I'm not going to that part now. Uh, and let me just write dhan dot, and I'll see all the different functions that are available over here. So you could actually use modify order as well to, in order to modify the already existing uh, order, cancel order. Uh, place slice order we have already talked about slice in our previous videos um, and I'll just scr scroll a bit down get order list if I copy this particular code and come back to our Python code paste it over here and run this cell this will give me uh, the list of all the types of orders that I have placed whether they are closed or currently opened right and you can see all different uh, information which uh, can be relevant for any further analysis and one of the most important information here is order ID because this actually gives us the identification of this particular trade. So what if we want to extract this particular uh, uh, order to a particular order ID for example in this case this one. So let's go back to our documentation. It can be done by using this particular code. So I'll just copy this one and come back to uh, our Python code. I'll just write it over here and I wanted to get order information through order ID. Let's copy any of these order ID, for example, this one. Paste it over here and run this cell. You'll see we have entire order information for this particular order ID only. In the last case, we had the entire uh, database of different types of trades that I have placed. In this one, I just have information of this order. Now, what if I want the same thing for trade book? I want the trade book through order ID. Again, that is also possible. Let's go back to our uh, documentation. Scroll a bit down. You'll see dhan dot get trade book and then order ID. I'll just copy this one, uh, this line here and come back to my code. Paste it over here and again I'll use the same order ID which is this one and paste it over here and then run it. Simple. So it will give me the trade book of this particular order ID. Again, you could see that I placed a CO order which is cover order. So that's why I have two orders here. One is the actual order. The second one is the stop loss. So that's why there are two orders. The entire trade book is just of these two or, uh, orders. We are not concerned about any other uh, orders because we have inputted the uh, order ID here in the input section of this particular function. Now if we want to extract uh, um, fund information, right? So for example, what is my fund limit? Uh, so just go to the funds here on the left hand side uh, and copy this particular code. Let's see what happens if we paste it over here and run this cell. If I paste it and run this cell, I will get information about my available balance. Uh, so after running this code, we can see this is the entire information of uh, about the fund that I have. The available balance is somewhere around 900 rupees in this case. Uh, my client ID is this one and so on. So it's good if we make a trading bot, we need to have an eye on what is the available balance in the account right now. That, like you can accordingly place your trades or plan your trades uh, for future. So yes guys, that's it for this video. In the next two videos, I will focus on making proper trading strategies. The first one would be on SMA, simple moving average. And the second one would be a bit more complicated, which would be on doji pattern. And we'll see how to place buy and sell orders and then automate the entire trading process. So I hope you like this video. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.
Investments in the securities market are subject to market risk. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.